Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV. I've got a bit of a mixed bag for you this week, but first of all, a few thank yous. First, thank you to everybody that made a comment on the show, either on YouTube or Facebook last week. Thank you very much. We love the comments. Please keep them coming. Now, the second thank you is to Lisa. Lisa is one of our customers that got an amazing gig um, last weekend to celebrate the, the Queen's 90th birthday. And she got on Good Morning Britain. So there was that. these are some of the pictures, uh, some of the work that Lisa did. So she's obviously twisting and, and modeling those balloons into all sorts of things. And you can see them on Richard Arnold, on Charlotte Hawkins, on Andy Peters. Um, yeah, absolutely fantastic. So first of all, Lisa, thank you so much for, for sending the pictures through. And yeah, well done getting that gig. That is amazing. Apparently, Richard Arnold is now following Lisa, not, not stalky, but uh, on, on Twitter and liking her pictures on Instagram. So thanks again for sending those through. Right, like I say, bit of a mixed bag. A few new products, and then we're going to look at this. We're going to do a bit of a product test on this new micro air inflator. And then I've got a, a really good tip for you at the end. We, we didn't realize it was a tip um, until last week. And somebody, um, we just thought everybody knows this. And somebody asked us a question last week and uh, realized that not everybody does know it. So I'll be sharing that with you towards the end. Right, now, new products, confetti to start with. This is from Unique. It's tissue paper, very bright. Very trendy at the moment. A lot of people, what they do, they put these inside the Qualitex bubble balloons, the deco bubbles, so the clear ones. And they either have happy birthday or the wedding or just the clear ones on their own with nothing on them and create some fantastic effects with those. So that is in stock now. Uh, we've got these back in as well. If you didn't see, I think it was a few months ago, I was talking about these. These are the Qualitex flyers. Uh, they're, they're marketing materials, really. Um, and these are ideal if you go to wedding fairs and you're selling your services there because on the back here, there's a gap to put your contact details. So when brides are there and they're collecting all the information, they might go back home and look at it. They want to be able to know who to contact and that that is there. But these are great because they're, they're multi-purpose. You've got your... Aspirational marketing. So rather than just selling a few bunches of three or five, somebody might then might spend, you know, a couple of hundred pounds on an amazing air-filled arch or something like that. It's got all the colours. Brides are very colour conscious. It's got all the Qualitex wedding range. And it's also got some hen night stuff as well. So very cheap from a marketing point of view. You can put your, your contact details on there. Great giveaways at... Um, at wedding fairs. If you do want one of those for free to see if you like it, on your next order, just put a comment in the comments box. Please send me a free wedding flyer. Thank you. And we'll pop one in with your order. Right now, ribbon. This is the Eleganza Fuchsia ribbon that we've had for quite a while. It does a good job. Um, however, Rachel found that when she was decorating with some color balloons, this wasn't quite right. And so she was using contrasting ribbon rather than trying to match it. So we've got this one, and this is the hot pink from Qualitex. Um, you can see they are slightly different. The Fuchsia one's probably slightly more purpley. Still a lovely color, um, but the hot pink um, is going really well. The hot pink is going like hot cakes. So yeah, we've got both those in now. Right now, twinkle lights. These, we've got these in, these are new. And these are little LED lights that you can put inside balloons. They're light enough to put inside balloons. Now, we used to sell something like this a few years ago, uh, but they were cheap Chinese stuff. It's all we could get hold of. And uh, you had to twist them to, to turn them on and off. And, and they were just horrible because we found that there was about a 30%, 40% failure rate. So our initial customers weren't very happy. And then we started checking them all. So we had all this wastage. They were just rubbish. Anyway, these seem to be much better. Um, they come in packs of 10. They are waterproof and buoyant, so it says. So we're going to give that a little test now. Right, you get them out, as you can see. They're little, little spheres. And then you just get your fingernails in between and split that, that open. And then you've got a little, a little tab there that says pull. You just pull that. And then the light, the little LED light goes on. Pop that back on top there. And there you go. There you have it. It's a sort of slow flash. So you can imagine if you've got multiple balloons, then they'd all be flashing at different times. So that'll just be a lovely effect around the room if you decorated a a whole room. Right, it does say, oh, it's also got a little a little hole, a little tunnel at the top going through there. 
so you can thread through the fishing line. I think it's too narrow for normal balloon ribbon, so you probably would need fishing line for that. And um, yeah, let's find out then if they are waterproof and if they are in fact buoyant. So here we are, we've got a glass of water. Oh, definitely buoyant, it floats. And, and look, it's, it, it's lit. Oh, oh, it's going out. Oh no, no, it's not, it's flashing, isn't it? There you go. Oh, fingers crossed, it's, there it is, it's back. We'll come back and look at that at the end of the show. Right, now let's see what one looks like with the lights out in a balloon. So lights out, please. So here's one I prepared earlier, just inside an orange balloon. I hope you can see that. So it's just rolling around and then it just slowly flashes. So you can see the one on the table there is flashing at a slightly different rate. I really like doing this with them because it makes a cool sound and a really cool effect. Not that you would do that, I just really like it. Right, now everybody put your hands in the air because many hands make light work. Yeah, dad joke, free of charge right there. Okay, so there are those twinkle lights. Let's put those away. We'll come back, as I say, at the end of the show and see if that one is still functioning. I'm sure it will be. Right, now let's move all this stuff to one side. And let's have a look at this new electric inflator. So this is the standard electric inflator that we've sold for years. Um, it's a really good quality, it's, it's value for money. Uh, it's got the two nozzles on here, it's got two settings. So if you put it on one setting, it just, the air comes out both or just constantly. If you put it on the other setting, then it will only come out when you press this one down. It'll come out of both of them, but you've got to press that down. So that's a switch there. And, and it's great. And that's good if you've got two people inflating balloons at the same time, or if you want to do duplets and tie them in a knot. I'm not sure how accurate this would be for duplets. If you've got the precision air, you know you're getting exactly the same amount of air in each one. So it would size it precisely. I honestly don't know how, maybe that's a test we can do in the future. But um, yeah, so that's, that's fine if you've got two, because you've got two nozzles. Now, if you only use one nozzle, it seems a bit of a waste to have two nozzles. So that's why we've introduced this. This is the new microwear inflator. It's not massive. Maybe that's why it's called a microwear, but it's the same sort of principle. You can have it on constant. Or you can have it on just when you push this down. So we've been thinking about how can we test electric inflators? What sort of standard test can we do? And we've come up with the inflation of a three foot balloon. This is quite big because I've inflated it a couple of times before. And so we're just gonna put that onto the pump and see how long it takes for this balloon to inflate. I might have to tilt this forward a little bit, but let's do that now. Right. I'm not gonna actually time it myself. We're just going, when you watch this, it's, we're gonna have a counter on the screen, a timer on the screen. You'll see how long it takes. All right, let's get going. Fingers crossed. I forgot to explain, I just put a couple of balloon sticks taped on there, exactly two feet apart. Just gonna seal this now with this clip. So there you go. No idea how long that was, 20 seconds, 25 seconds maybe. So that's um, a three foot balloon inflated to two feet. Let's put that out of the way. So there you have it, that's the little micro air inflator. I think it's about 20, 25% cheaper than that one. So if you do wanna use one nozzle at a time, um, probably worth getting, getting one of those. Now, this tip I was telling you about, as I say, we, we just think it's natural, everybody knows this, but it's not. We had a customer phone up and she was after some 40th birthday balloons. It was the, the Qualitex silver and black ones, but she only wanted the black ones. And she said, can you open some bags? So we can, but we'd have to charge you for both bags. Uh, and she said, no, no, I don't want that. And we said, or you can get the clear ones and put black balloons inside or whatever color you like inside. And she said, oh, that's amazing. I never thought of that. And it just shows you that when you're used to something, somebody else might not know how to do it. So I thought I'd just show you that, I'll show you how simple it is. If I can do it, you know it's simple. So I'm putting this, this blue balloon, this light blue balloon or sky blue, not too sure what color it is, onto a balloon stick. Mark at Qualitex would tell me not to do that because you could damage the balloon. However, the balloon stick is, is quite blunt at the end, but uh, you can use a pen, blunt end of a pen, just something, you need something to put it inside the balloon, I think. 
So there you go. And then you've got a double stuffed balloon. So you could effectively have any color you like. As this pump is here, I think we'll use it. Now here's one I prepared earlier. So what color you might want. Would you want gray at your wedding? Probably not, but I'm guessing this, no, let's do red, let's do red. Would you want red at your wedding? Maybe, maybe not, but let's do one. One thing I would say when we were testing these, when they're double stuffed, the electric inflators struggle sometimes to inflate them. So you might want to stretch the balloons first or inflate them individually. It just finds it a bit harder. Eventually it will inflate them, but it finds it a bit harder. Okay, so I'm just gonna inflate this now. And there you go. So you can see the, the clear balloon makes it nice and shiny. I'm sure you can see the reflection of the lights here in the studio on the ceiling. Um, it just makes it nice and shiny, but you can have whatever color you like. So imagine you had the A-gate, you know, the multicolored ones. That'd look really nice. Now I'm going to attempt to tie this. Those of you that are regular viewers will know that I am not good at tying balloons, but Mark from Qualitex showed me how to do it. There you go. I didn't make that look too bad. Um, so yeah, there you go. There you have it. Now, let's have a look and see how this light is doing. It's still floating and it's still flashing. So that's, that's, that's great news. That's great. So yeah, twinkle lights, 10 in a pack. Right, question of the week. Who is the most famous person you have done work for? Just leave it in the comments below on YouTube or Facebook. That's it for me this week. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Have a great week. See you next week. Bye. Well, essentially, we're going to do some gifts and different ideas of finished gifts of objects and things inside balloons. Okay. So, uh, first one I thought we'd do is my teddy. Not really my teddy, but. Oh, it's not your teddy. It's oh, my teddy oh I thought it was your teddy that you take everywhere we'll with do you. We'll do it. It's a girl present, I think, okay. to start with. Right now, I'm going to talk a little bit about stock. Remember a few years ago, a few years ago, a few weeks ago. I was getting very excited about 16 ounce cups and I said we've got a new range coming, can't say very much yet. Well here it is, it's the 16 ounce cups and the whole emoji range. Now emojis are very very popular at the moment, even people of my age are using emojis on their, on their phones. 